I'm always asked, how do you spot clean your hamsters enclosures? And because they have three hamsters that are so different when it comes to their habits and cleanliness, I figured I would show you. Starting with Mabel. Mabel is the hardest hamster to spot clean. This is because Mabel is not messy above ground, but Mabel is messy below ground. <laughs> Mabel does not make it easy to spot clean. She pees all underneath where she sleeps and everything and she doesn't push it to the top for me to remove. So it is necessary for me to have to destroy her burrows every so often. The way that I know when to do this whole job is when she herself starts smelling like pee, then I know it's time to go through her burrows. This is a piece of pillow moss this Mabel destroyed. <laughs> that is perfectly fine for hamsters to destroy i just i've never had a hamster destroy pillow moss like that so i was really shocked so basically i just start to remove all of the things so that i have access to her burrows this also is probably gross to some people but i do use my bare hands when spot cleaning it's just it's not a huge deal soap and water exists and this is the only way I'm able to feel damp bedding to be able to remove. When I'm going through her burrows, I'm trying to be as careful as possible. And what I'm looking for is basically just anything that's super smelly, damp, or it is like a yellow tone. Because I do use white bedding, it is much more helpful than other colored beddings. I also am cleaning up her pillow moss mess. I didn't realize how much of a pillow moss dust cloud she had created. That is insane. The method that I tend to use is I'll just do like a big scoop and I pull that top bedding up because that typically isn't the dirty area. What's dirty for Mabel is usually along the bottom and Mabel burrows kind of the perimeter of the enclosure. So she starts at the right side and she goes all the way to the left side along the back. And that is where I kind of sort through and look. Also, I use my nose a lot. <laughs> you can definitely tell where they're peeing. Mabel also is a stilt chewer. She turns them into spears. I always think that's hilarious. <laughs> also gonna remove her wheel and just give it a washout. What I've done is I have Velcroed her wheel to that platform below it. And this way I can easily remove it for cleaning and it's not going to bang around in the enclosure or move. When it wasn't Velcroed, it was extremely noisy. I'm just taking out this platform here and this is where Mabel has made her nest and this is where it stinks the most. I'm also going to show her her enormous food hoard. This is completely normal. Hamsters are food hoarders. And I do not touch this or remove any of it because that would be extremely stressful to just remove their food that they've gather gathered. You may have also noticed there was poop mixed in. That doesn't make it unsanitary. Poop is a territorial marker for hamsters and a way for them to orientate themselves around the enclosure. So it's really not a huge deal for them to have poop with their food. I'm also just going to mix in some fresh bedding because I did actually manage to remove pretty much an entire small garbage bag of soiled bedding. You may notice Mabel doesn't actually use her multi-chamber hideout at all. She sleeps in the opposite area of it, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. It still just is in the enclosure if she wants to use it. And I also use it as a platform. So 
So now I'm just adding back all of her accessories and I'm basically putting them back exactly where they were. I also wanted to show you the bedding that I was throwing away. This is what it looks like. You can see the little dark cream spots. Those are spots that have been peed on, but some of it is still white, but it does smell like pee, which is why I removed it. Then I'm just going to clean out her three dig boxes. She does tend to put other pieces of substrate into them, so I just like to clean those out. Then I can add in some more sprays and all of her other accessories into her enclosure. And grab my big herb box and sprinkle a bunch of herbs for her to forage around for. I'm also gonna give her a new piece of pillow moss to destroy, which she definitely does destroy it. Next up is Dipper, and Dipper is a very messy hamster on the surface. Below the surface, he is not messy, <laughs> so he's pretty easy to clean. I do go ahead and I do remove the Syrian hamsters when I'm cleaning because they will get in the way, so I just like to take them out of the enclosure. First, I'm starting off with kind of sweeping and removing some of the larger items so that I can do a nice clean. And then we're going to lift up Dipper's multi-chamber hide to reveal there's no burrow. <laughs> that is because Dipper sleeps on the surface of the bedding. I have no clue why he does this. He knows how to burrow. I have videos of him burrowing. He just doesn't do it for where he sleeps. He does pee in his multi-chamber hides, which was what you saw me removing. And I am adding in some more bedding to replenish what I took. But yeah, Dipper does not make a burrow. <laughs> he just sleeps on the top. I'm also sweeping up this platform here. He is long haired, so he does tend to just drag bedding everywhere. I'm also checking to see if this spray still had seeds on it or if it was completely ransacked, but it still had seeds so it could stay in the enclosure. I'm just picking up some of the sprays that he has knocked over and then I move on to his Eco Earth box. He pees in this corner, which you can see the little chunks. So I do go ahead and remove that and then I just do a surface clean because he gets bedding on there. Then I'm just gonna add in some new sprays for him and once again, add in the herbs. Yeah. 
diaper dipper because he sleeps on the surface. I'm just gonna shred him some toilet paper for him to use for nesting. And last but not least is Waddles, my easiest hamster to spot clean. Now, when I get a new hamster, I usually wait a couple of weeks and then I will take them out of the enclosure and I will kind of go through to the bottom of the bedding to check and see if they actually pee down there. Waddles does not, Waddles is super simple. He only pees in his wheel and in his sand bath. So that is why it's so easy to clean his enclosure. So all I have to do is check this little green hideout and this is where he mainly pees. You can see that kind of sand stuck to the bottom. So I dump that out and wash it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sift through the sand. As you can see, there's two little chunks. Those are also pee. And then I'm gonna sift through, get any of the little poops and some herbs that he's stuck in there. Then I can add that back. I'm also going to add the last little bit of sand that I had, I have to buy more clearly. I accidentally put the green hide in the wrong spot, so I had to go ahead and flip that. And then I just put back his log branches, add in some more herbs for him to forage for. Then I go ahead and replenish his sprays. I always get asked how often do you feed sprays? This completely depends on how fast the hamster finishes them. Waddles will finish some of these sprays very, very fast. So I actually wait a pretty long time before giving him new ones. And that is Waddle's enclosure. And he actually stays in his enclosure while I'm spot cleaning and he usually will just stay in his burrows. So he's pretty simple. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.